Hey everybody, what is going on? Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, and unfortunately, I lost the intro to this video. So I recorded this video about a week ago, and one of the things I wanted to do was get out in the water, and I wanted to target some deeper holes. I was really looking for uh, the water depth about maybe anywhere from five to eight eight feet deep. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't really find that. I found some seven foot, couple seven foot, couple six feet spots, but wasn't looking. What didn't really find that eight foot mark that I was really, really, really targeting and and wanted wanted to hit because the water had been blown out. We just had north winds. We just had a system that come through, came through, and also we had a full moon. So both of those things occurring at the same time. The water got pushed out. I heard from a lot of people that the water was pushed out deeper than they've ever seen it, like, I mean, like 15, 20 years. So, with that in mind, I wasn't really too sure what to expect, but I knew we were going to get on the water. We had a small window because the winds were forecasted to be pushing, blowing around 20. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We did, we did get on a few fish. Uh, didn't really kill it, but we still had a great time, Eric and I did. But thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Well, this spot right here, it's a little deeper than the rest. This channel comes in, this little pass comes in right here. And I kind of anchored up and I wanted to fish this area. Really, really cover a lot of, a lot of cast, cover a lot of different water depth. Um, I was happy to find a seven foot mark, but unfortunately the only thing that I really got here is just a few subtle bites nothing nothing too great again the water temps 53 degrees so it's still a little cool so hopefully we're gonna move around a little bit go fish around some houses around the subdivision and fish some of those deeper guts and we'll be able to catch and, and hook up to some fish eric just got a good big trout i was training my battery we we're fishing around these docks over here we'll see Nice little red, huh? Yeah. Right on the job. Hold up, let me see that little guy. Oh yeah, nice little cute guy. Turn his head this way. He's cold. See how it curls up? Yeah. That's because he's cold. Which is kind of weird because the water temps about 54. And he feel cold. <laughs> you got a flatty? There he is a chippy. Yeah. He is a chip chip. Like you need some salsa and a bowl for him. <laughs> there he got a third fish on. There he got a little rat red, I think. I think he's he's throwing goat, so I think I'm gonna switch to goat. It's third fish. Is it? Yeah, it's a little rat red. Eric's throwing a little goat. I'm gonna get in the goat action. I think I'm gonna switch. I think I'm gonna switch, you know, because it's not a lot going on. It's really slow. Um, not really feeling the love out here from the fish. So I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna take this off. My tack 40, and I'm gonna switch. I'm putting some gope on. Ugly. Oh, that daddy! He's, he's chasing it. It was a little speck. It was a little speck. He got saw come up and hit it. It looked like a big speck. It was a little speck. No, he was small. He just hit it right on the water surface. So that's why it came back down at me. Yeah. So you don't have to swim on the bottom, dog. It might be on top. <clears throat> oh, that was another little hit. It's gotta be sand trout. Cause they ain't taking it. It looked like you wasn't moving. There we go. There you go. 
I said it felt like a little rat red. It sure is. A little rat red. Right in the middle, too. Right in the middle of the channel. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's not, not on the bottom. It's just kind of popping and letting it fall. Because I got hit a couple times by a, either a speck or maybe a sand trout. But, you know, sometimes that scent is, is all that's going to take. You know, you put that gopo on, that little scent. And sometimes that's what they want. They want the smaller profile lure and some scent to really drive them home. With it being a full moon and the water being cold and the water being sucked out, I mean, you really have to explore all your options to catch a fish. And if it's gope you use or live bait, well then, hey, do what you gotta do, you know, hook up. There we go. Oh, that's a good little red. Uh, uh, crap. Uh, uh, oh, you got. Don't cross me. Don't cross me. I'm trying to come out. No, no, I meant your kayak. Uh, uh, this is a little guy. He undersized, it might be 19. <clears throat> Come on. Uh, there we go. Whoosh. Got him. He hit it hard though, man. It was, felt really good. He hit it hard though. Right in the corner of the mouth. Barely skin hook. Little gope. Oh, you know, he's skinny. But he's gonna be long enough, I think. Oh yeah. 23 and a quarter. Catching little stuff today, so that 23 and a quarter it really didn't seem like a 23. But he's a nice guy. All right, everybody, so that's gonna do it. Came out today, met up with Eric out here in Galveston. Got a little dirty, got a little salty. You know, we had a good time. Did you have a good had time, a good Eric? Time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, you know, the winds were supposed to pick up, gusts around 23. They never did. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for that. So, we got a little more time than, than we had on the water, but I know Eric has to go to work, so we're gonna wrap this up. And uh, I had a good time. You know, it's one of those things, you know, you have a low tide. You have your winter, you had a cold front come through, the tide is low, the water is cold, kind of looking in those deeper channels, those deeper passes, those deeper holes to try to find some trout and reds. And, and we found some. We found a lot of small yeah. flounder too. Yeah. Really did. Just couldn't find any ladies hanging out. Yeah, just, just a lot of dinks. A lot of little guys. But hey, if you like 
If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And I hope next time catch us hooking up.